What was the craziest thing you've witnessed happen at a party? In Ireland a few years back I watched a drunk American dude create a path through the packed first floor party with the yo-yo. Watch this idiot's war cry. Then run and jump over the balcony towards the tree outside. After hitting the tree limb and falling into the bushes below. He returned to the party with a broken nose. Orbital bone and a gash on his face which looked like a kicked burrito. He kept saying I'm okay man. I'm cool all the while his exposed cheekbone and broken teeth said otherwise. Good times. At a keg party. Everyone is having a great time. Three weird strange rednecks show up. One of them starts to do the knife game from the Aliens movie. Going real fast. Stabs himself real f king hard right in the finger. Everyone cringes. Dude's finger is pouring blood. Him and his buddies wrap his finger in a paper towel and leave. As we are all laughing and talking about the crazy shit someone notices. They stole the f king keg. The idiot with the knife was a diversion. The other two carried the keg out. F king rednecks. Saw a dude get face f keg with a strap on that was part of a girl's Halloween costume. A huge. Bald. MR. Clean looking guy walks in. Lays down a few lines of coke on the kitchen counter. And proceeds to snort them off a giant bowie knife that came out of seemingly nowhere. After a few lines. He turns and points the knife directly at me and says. You want to go at this? I said no. Thanks and he just continued snorting. We were all expecting an altercation when the host asked him to leave. But his response was. Oh yes. Of course. I understand. No one at the party knew who he was. In an escalating series of dares. An extremely drunk guy got butt naked. Ran around the neighborhood and knocked on every door saying. Open up moth earthkers. Someone called the cops. Party got shut down. The guy spent night in lockup. Was funny. Would have been even funnier if the guy in question was someone else. Big college house party. And some of the neighbors called the police. Instead of barging in. They patrolled the street a bit. Which hosts responded with by telling everyone at the party to shut up and turn off the lights. To my surprise. These loud college kids all stayed quiet. Sitting on the floor. Drinking in silence in the dark for at least half an hour. Some would go on their phones. Or start whispering to one another. But those around them would tell them to knock it off or shut off the light of their phone. We've had parties shut down before. I don't know what made this one special. I was at a party once where all of a sudden we hear this guy scream the lizards escaped. Two girls doing a 69 on the living room floor as a crowd around them drunkenly cheered. Someone scored 500 plus in a game of Scrabble. Not me but so went to a party in high school. A younger kid shows up. Maybe a freshman. So 14-15 years old. He starts showing people he has a gun. Finally someone asks him. Why do you have a gun? And the kid says. Oh. Don't worry. It's not loaded. Then he puts the gun to his temple and pulls the trigger. Edit. Gun was indeed loaded. Edit 2. BC many have asked and I don't expect you all to wade through the comments. Yes. Yes the kid died. Instantly. Was a young sailor in San Diego in the 80s. Got invited to a night party down in San Isidro by a pretty girl that worked in a shop near base. No way I was going to pass that up. My buddy and I drove down to the address that night. We are two of the only white guys there. But figure no big deal since we were invited by the host. Things are going well. I feel I'm making progress with the young lady. When suddenly there is a bunch of yelling and commotion, but all in Spanish. Which do did not speak. Big lights from the sky light up the house. People running to and fro. I'm standing there like a dumbass. Holding my beer. Customs agents. Border patrol. Crash the party looking for illegals. Seems me. My buddy and the young lady that invited me were about the only people with citizenship or residency at the party. Quite the New Year's Eve bash. 
the strangest party I've ever been to was at UVM in Burlington. VT. I was visiting a friend of mine. And she wanted me to go with her because she was a part of a performance piece that was happening at said party. We get there. It's pretty standard. Until she tells me to go into the basement in 10 minutes and disappears. When I get downstairs I see her with about 12 other girls topless. And wearing nothing else but tights and lampshades on their heads. Their performance piece was some crazy feminist thing. Following this performance. A guy started beatboxing with a didgeridoo. Two old men with a boombox screamed slam poetry at a bunch of college kids. And I'm pretty sure Beck was there playing the bongos. A stabbing at a neon black light house party. The guy's blood was pooling on the kitchen floor. People started screaming and the blood looked black under the UV light on the lino. Some of his blood got on my socks. The memory is all dreamlike, and not in a good way, to me. There was a turkey in the fridge of the girl's house we were partying at. It was her parents turkey, this was in high school, for Sunday dinner that weekend. Someone found the turkey. Passed the turkey around. The turkey ended up getting thrown down the stairs. The turkey ended up in the toilet. The turkey was drunk. And most unfortunately the turkey ended back up in the fridge and was eating on Sunday. Some guy drank 3 beers really quickly. Get f kedder lying. My roommate got extremely wasted and was in some sort of demonic state of mind. He didn't use any words. Just growling and yelling at us. He then acts as if he came to his senses. And before anyone could stop him. Bolts straight off the balcony faster than I've ever seen anyone run. And lands right on top of a car that was parked below. We immediately run down to grab him as he's running down the street yelling. After three of us dragged him back into the apartment we had to hold him down and eventually hog tie him in the bathroom until he finally passed out. Once it was all said and done. I look outside to see a police car driving by. So we closed the blinds. Turned off the lights and quiet down. Luckily they only circled the parking lot a few times and drove away. It could have been a lot worse. The night sucked. But it's always a good laugh looking back at it all. And my friend's reaction in the morning when he was wondering why he was tied up was priceless. H-A-H-A-H-A. A demonic possession. After a night of wine pong and tacos my roommate had explosive diarrhea on his way up to his room. The shti just flowed down the stairs and the party promptly ended. What a party pooper. Big party in my buddies and finished basement in high school. One guy was tripping acid and passed out standing up leaning against a pole. He had a beer in his hand. A smile on his face. And pissed down his jeans leaking out by his shoe to the drain. Which was luckily a couple feet away. It was a sight to see. He never lost grip of that beer and judging by his shti eating grin he didn't have a worry in the world. When I was younger. We frequently used to throw barn parties. Me and three friends were gathered around a bongzilla, eight tubes. Can hold a 12 pack, one night in high school. The four of us were planning on taking down a 12er. But unbeknownst to us. Someone had added a full water bottle of F King rum. So not only did we each have three beers. But also four shots of rum. All of this in roughly 10 seconds. It was my birthday. And when the girl I liked showed up with cupcakes 30 minutes later. I grabbed one. Shoved it in my mouth wrapper and all and then proceeded to throw the rest of the cupcakes at other guests. The guy who added the rum to the bongzilla ended up with a black eye. And all four of us remember nothing past finishing the beer bong. I still don't like rum. At a party in college someone slipped my buddy's pet monkey LSD. Shti got destroyed and was easily in the top 3 most intense situations I have ever been in. My brother was threatening my boyfriend with a baseball bat so he jumped out of a second story window. I had just gotten to the party after driving for 2 hours just to get there and walked up to my recently ex-girlfriend and some mutual friends. Our friend turned to me and said we were talking about your, male, roommate and how he had slept with your ex. I practically went into shock. I instantly turned around. Walked out and drove back home. That was the angriest. 
Most tear filled 2 hours drive of my life. Even worse my roommate was a really good friend. Up to that point. Anyway. I got jumped by about 8 people for a few minutes. Was visiting some friends in America and as a Brit I was used to drinking and being able to get alcohol from any shop at 18. So after drinking a couple of beers we decided we wanted something a bit more substantial. I walked up to the liquor store grabbed two bottles of Smirnoff vodka and placed them on the counter. The lady looks at me and asks for ID. Me being only 19 just give her my ID and she says you have to be 21 to buy alcohol. I put on my best outrage face as if how does she not know the rules and say British people are allowed to drink at 18 this is utter poppercock. She looks at me dumbfounded. Apologized for her mistake and said that she didn't know the rules and proceeds to sell me the vodka and chucks in a four pack of beer as well to say sorry. I walk out a hero and the party continues well on into the night. Back in the early 80s we went to our local keg party spot. This spot was a lot of other towns party spot too. Huge sand pit in Menden. Ma. We turned the corner to our town's spot to see a shitty load of naked asses around a fire. They're all dudes. Nope. This party isn't for me and we went to another party. We later found out those is dudes came from another town that don't party there and all were tripping balls on acid. Got some bad weed at a house party before. It was cut with some synthetic plastics or something like that. So naturally everyone starts getting a bit weird. Turning white. And freaking out. As I'm trying to mentally navigate the minefield of being too f ked up to walk or speak. Someone notices that a girl in the kitchen who has been making pizza is slowly passing out and is clinging onto a countertop as her legs slowly buckle. Me and my then roommate grab her by the legs and shoulders to sling her into the bathroom. Or at the least that's what I thought. The dude just slumps the paraplegic girl into my arms and then I immediately begin passing out also from the exertion. Both of us fell into the bathroom and I watched her puke for about 5 minutes and wonder. Then another of my friends walks in. Sees himself in the mirror and announces he's turning green like the Hulk. Before also puking. One guy was letting off fireworks. And one of them flew off to the side and hit a guy in the hot tub right in the balls. Made water into wine. The usual. Considering all the crazy things Russians get up to simply while driving around. I'd love to hear a story from a Russian on this thread. Someone spiked the punch. Best part is that there's no punchline. I was out drank by a grandma who was the coolest person I have ever met. It was her house. And her grandson asked to have a party there and she was completely cool with it. She even got up and had people hold her for a keg stand. She even let me try some of her daily breakfast. Which was Vicodin and marijuanas. That was just a scene in grandma's boy. Ah that happened. A guy came out into the main room with a shotgun because a couple of small fights had broken out and this dude was freaking out. Another guy tackled him and started beating the shti out of him while a third guy grabbed the gun. Turned out it wasn't loaded. But still. What a f king moron.